Origin Access. Is it worth a buy? <laughs> Let's read. The, there is no words, guys. There is no. There are, that, that, none. None. What is Origin Access? It's not a game. I'm allowed to review stuff that isn't a game. It's got games in it. And I bought into this because it gives you access to early access to EA games. And I needed the early access to do my preview of Mass Effect Andromeda. And after I've done all that, I thought, well, what else is in there? So we're going to have a look in the vault, guys. So what Origin Access is, it's a premium service for PC users on Origin. What you do is you can pay either $3.99 a month or $19.99 for a full year and you get access to games that are in origin now we're going to do this live so so here we are guys in the vault now this is what you get this is what you get star wars battlefront now what that means is when it says included with access that you can if you don't have that game you can just play it and it's usually the the top um edition of that game the deluxe edition Everything in the Origin store is 10% off if you have Origin access. So you're getting a 10% off every game. So we've got Mirror's Edge Catalyst, Mass Effect 3, the N7 Digital Deluxe Edition, Unravel, Plants v Zombies, Garden Warfare 2 Deluxe, which I'm going to play because I haven't actually got that. I've got the first one, which I kind of liked. FIFA 16, I'm going to play that because I don't have it. Battlefield 4, yeah. uh, Need for... <laughs> Uh, Crisis, Crisis 3, haven't played that. Um, Battlefield, hardline. Uh, Titanfall Deluxe Edition, guys. Great game, that. Dragon Age in, in, in Garden Warfare, the first one. Torchlight 2, what else we got? What else we got? What else we got? Let's go down again. We've got FIFA 15. Well, why would you have... Why would, Battlefield, no. This War of Mine, that's good. SimCity Online. <laughs> We've got Treen, guys, which was that. I think Treen was that really nice looking platformer. We've got the Bladder Saga. Banner Saga. Bladder. It looked like bla the ba I'm having a Bladder Saga, to be honest. Uh, Need for Speed Rivals. Yeah. Actually, that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Command. Look at this, guys. Command and Conquer. The Ultimate Collection. Now, let's have a look. You get every Command and Conquer pretty much ever made uh, from the original right through to the awful Tiberian Twilight. Um, and Red Alert 3 Uprising. Ugh. Red Alert 3, ugh, Kane's, ugh, ugh, the last good one, they're the ones, they're the ones to play, guys, them, forget them, f*** me, rigid on a Friday, but still great, you can play all them, you get, you get them all, Plants vs Zombies, awesome, Game of the Year edition, Dead Space, nah, it wasn't my, SimCity 4, uh, Dead Space, Crisis 2, Dragon Age Origins, and there's more, there's more, Mass Effect 2, Dragon Age 3, Need for Speed, Most Wanted, SimCity 2000, Mirror's Edge, Crisis, Mass Effect, Mini Metro, Beholder, Agatha, Fury, The Sims 3, you two can play with lesbians, oh and guys, there it is, Medal of Honor, Allied Assault, War Chest, that's the game that I reviewed yesterday, then you've got this was just added this week uh epistory whatever that is but you've got all the wing commanders uh wing commander 4 and also privateer which was if i remember rightly was made by the brother of uh, who has done star citizen yeah ultimately you've got all the ultimates pretty much um yeah you've got yeah all the ultimates are there i think then you've got train 2 you've got pony island crusade and no remorse Populous, the Populous games, Dungeon Keeper, they were great, the Dungeon Keeper games. Um, Peggle, I've got that. Shit, I haven't. No, <laughs> they got the Saboteur, um, which I kept wanting to buy, but then didn't, and I kept wanting to, I used to pick the box up in the shop and go, oh, looks a bit, 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 but then put it back down because of the price, then picked it up again, put it down, I never ended up buying it, but I've got it now, so there you go. So there you go, guys, that is what you get for £19. I mean, even if you just play that a lot, there's your money back because that's thirty pound. It's, I think it's a steal. It's it's crazy. It's absolutely insane that this is only twenty pound a year. This should be way more than twenty. No, it shouldn't. Twenty pound a year is good, guys. It's a steal. Honestly, as much as I think electronic arts are so shite now with the kind of wank that they're pumping out, there is easily £20 worth of games in here. And although you don't get these games for life, you can play these games as much or as little as you want while you have the subscription going. So, it's a bloody no-brainer. It's, it's, to me, to me, it's a no-brainer. 
it's it's you're getting all these games <laughs> and access as well to new releases that come out but you, you generally get them for a few hours but the good thing is uh, you if you then buy the game your progress is saved from the trial and yeah and you just carry on when the game's released so there you go guys that's origin access in my opinion as much as i can't stand ea it is worth a buy and by the way this isn't a um sponsored video or anything like that ea don't like me at all so but it's mutual